Ole Abraham. I have been wanting to say that for a while. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much. Deep appreciation within my being for the wonderful gift that you bring to us. We are that which you ask of us. In other words, without the life you are living and the questions you are asking, you would not be calling this forth. So it is your doing. So what now? In the past, before I knew Abraham, and again, thank you very much, and the art of allowing, I would start getting scared. Like if I got a relationship and it was everything I ever asked for, right? And I saw little things here and there, etc., etc. I would start focusing on those things. And what happened when you did that <laughs> to you? They what, all demanifested. But even before that, what, <laughs> what happened to your physical being when you focused upon things in those relationships that you did not want? I felt bad. Your indicator showed you this thought doesn't match what's in your escrow. You have contradiction in your vibration. You are not a vibrational match to what you want. Therefore, you are not moving toward what you want, but away from it. Isn't that lovely to know? Don't you love these indicators? Isn't it nice that you know the stove is hot? Isn't that nice that you have that awareness? Oh, no, I don't like the awareness. So I've put Novocaine in my hands. Hmm. No problem anymore. It's an odd odor. <laughs> Don't you love these indicators, especially now that you know what to do about it? Yes. yes. The key to really a wonderful life is to know what you don't want and know what you do want, and then turn your attention to what you do want. And then know what you don't want and know what you do want, and then turn your attention to what you do want. But when you really know what you don't want, so you really know what you do want, there's a larger span in your vibration, and then it is more uncomfortable to come into alignment but it doesn't matter where anyone is in relationship to anything that they want there are no exceptions you can have whatever you want if you will find vibrational alignment with the essence of what it is that you want in, in talking about the essence of everything and what you want etc etc would you describe that essence? Well, what we mean by the essence, sometimes you'll have yourself fixated on, let's talk about relationships, a specific person. And let's say that person right now is totally unavailable to you. So you want this thing that you can't have. So you're in this place where I want this thing that is not coming to me. I want this thing that I cannot have well there's contradiction in your vibration that's very hard on you where if you will think about why you want it why is it that I want this relationship I want it because of the way it feels I want it because I feel good within it I want it because it represents all of the things that all of my relationships have caused me to want as you find the feeling place of it the essence of it now you're not in contradiction to it so now the relationship you've been asking for must come so then most people say but will it come with that person's face attached to it and we say that's not the question that we want you to ask we want you to find alignment with the vibrational essence of what you want and the universe must deliver it to you and if it doesn't come in that person it will come in another Often it will come from someone very, very close to you if you will let it, you see. But your fixation on not getting this thing that you want holds you apart from it indefinitely. So when we talk about the essence of something, so often people say, well, shouldn't I be realistic? Shouldn't I face reality? And we say, no, never do that. <laughs> Facing reality won't let you move past what is. Pick from reality the best parts and keep them active in your vibration so you keep those good feeling parts there but keep reaching through your imagination, through your expectation, through your ability to focus your mind, through your ability to sift and sort, through your ability to look around you for things that you want. Pick 
from around you whether it's in your memory of past or in your environment of present or whether it's in your imagination of future pick from all of it those things that feel good when you think about them and let that be the basis of the vibration because what you think about is what you offer vibrationally what you offer vibrationally is your point of attraction your point of attraction equals what will manifest and in all of this almost all the questions that we've addressed are about how can I get the manifestation of my life into a better place and we always want to accommodate we always want to show you how to do it we've written book after book and every book is full of processes and all of them are about releasing resistance which is the only thing you need to do in order to become a vibrational match to what you want but we so want you all of you to begin enjoying the journey rather than being fixated on a destination think about going on vacation you're at home and you're gonna go here and here and here and here and here and then you're going to go back home and you say oh wait a minute let me think about this I'm home and home is my final destination so why go I think I've accomplished this vacation I'll just check it off the list vacation accomplished and we say you don't go on a vacation to get it done you go on a vacation for the fun along the way for the insights and interactions for the newness of it for the fun of it and that's the way we want you to feel on your way to the relationship we don't want you to be unhappy 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 relationship in fact you can't be you have to go happily toward the relationship you can't be discouraged in the interim and get what you want you have to be joyful a lot of people have been saying the words the joy is in the journey but that is the way to explain why the joy in the journey is such an important thing to understand if you're not joyful in your journey you cannot arrive at the places you think you want to be and our extended message is even when you get to those places you want to be by then there's a new set of contrasts which launches you to yet a new destination and isn't that why you are eternal beings could you be eternal and complete at the same time you'll never be complete you are eternal and always incomplete which means there will always be more that you are reaching for and you might as well make peace with that because it's the way it will eternally be so when you are resolved in that when you say I'm constantly in the state of becoming now you're less likely to be unhappy about what has not yet become that's why we start every gathering we are extremely pleased that you are here <laughs> are you enjoying the contrast of your time and place we are because the contrast is what causes you to launch rockets of desires and it's what causes the expansion of the universe but you say yes but you mean no and then we say and are you enjoying the expansion of your desire and you say yes but you don't really mean it because the expansion of your desire means that there's a gap between where you are and the things you want which in human terms of action means I'm failing still I'm failing still I don't have what I want but in eternal terms it means I'm expanding still I'm expanding still life is still flooding through me I'm still on my journey I'm still expanding and you always will be and when you make peace with that then the relationship that you're enjoying now even though there are pieces of it that you may not really like the, the way they are as you focus because you want to feel good on the parts of it that make you feel good you become a better vibrational match to who you really are and then the fullness of the relationship you've been seeking can make its way to your experience and often from right under your nose excellent Thank you very much.